Hi, my name is Sandy Narayan and I'm uh, delighted to speak to you today on uh, my background, my life at Cornell as a grad student almost uh, 40 years ago and uh, my current life as an executive director for 3M International Operations and also about the topic of emerging markets and how in fact Cornell as a uh, one of the top leading uh, graduate programs and undergraduate institutions worldwide and how the graduates of Cornell can play a very 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 significant role in helping to shape uh, how uh, future leaders uh, can be developed and how we can actually capitalize on the uh, opportunities available in emerging markets. I left Cornell as a graduate student with a master's degree uh, with a, a huge ambition and a bright set of ideas and after an additional stint at MIT I started at 3M 36 years ago and today I am responsible for all of 3M portfolio as the executive director for international business development uh, and I spend most of my time in emerging markets around the world trying to drive growth for 3M. Uh, why emerging markets are so important uh, is that despite the volatility and currency changes and some of the instabilities one hears about today, the fact of the matter is that opportunity, opportunity for growth, opportunity for development, opportunity for students graduating from Cornell really is in emerging markets. In fact, one of the students uh, in our class today on um, how to develop growth in emerging markets in answer to a question when I asked what distinguished emerging markets and the one word they would describe in emerging markets to a class of 90 students participating both from the Johnson School of uh, Business Management as well as the Engineering School graduate students the answer was opportunity I think it speaks a lot Opportunity is the largest in emerging markets. Graduates from Cornell leave with, we know, with quantitative knowledge, with skills and training and analytical capability. I think what emerging markets provides is an opportunity. It is a horizon where most businesses are underpenetrated, where the aspirations of the people, where the mega trends and societal changes are taking place. Let me take an example for 3M. We have been concentrating, and we are in 70 countries today, 70 countries worldwide, in addition to the United States. And in international, in emerging markets in particular, we have our biggest opportunities for making the best contributions that we can. Yes, we face volatility, and yes, we face uncertainty, but when you look at China as an example, where we're spending a lot of time, 3M was the first wholly owned subsidiary in China, started around 1984. Today, when you look at air quality, when you look at water safety, when you look at food safety, these are huge, huge societal changes and improvements that China provides where we are participating in. When you look at India, under Prime Minister Modi now, one of the best fastest growing economies of the significant economies around the world where you have dramatic uh, uh, population growth in terms of aspirational development in consumer retail, in healthcare, in electronics, in online trading, when you look at digital commerce, when you look at change, when you look at potential for new technology platforms, these are all happening in emerging markets much less so than in developed markets. And I think that's why when you look at Southeast Asia, countries like Vietnam, uh, countries like Philippines, even Indonesia that might be going through some difficulties today, India for sure we've talked about, China we've talked about. And I should not forget Africa, even though Africa today may have challenges, when you look at the economies of Africa at large, when you look at the potential for the future, even with the difficulties that we have in places like Nigeria, it's an economy larger than South Africa today. We look at Kenya and M-Pesa, which is online transactions, 
which are cashless. Can you imagine a country like Kenya having cashless transactions as a mega trend in the country? So when I think about emerging markets, I think about open spaces, I think about dreams, I think about solving societal problems, and I think about making an impact. And this is where I think the Cornell School, whether it's engineering or business, or whether it is interdisciplinary, the Cornell University is best positioned, I think, to put forth graduates that are coming in from different walks of life, different experiences, different backgrounds, but all sharing a common goal and a common vision. They want to make a difference. They come with high ambition and values that are very, very consistent and similar. Make a difference. And emerging markets, I believe, provides an opportunity. And I really appreciate Cornell for inviting me here to present this class. And I look forward to being back. And in fact, today we had a joint session between the Cornell Engineering School and the Johnson Business School on this class how to develop profitable growth in emerging markets. Thank you very much.